All right, hello everybody, and welcome to our coverage of the 23rd episode of the Legends of Chima TV series, The Legend Thief. As per usual, I am here today with LJ. Yo. And no Kahi for the second week in a row. He has been increasingly busy, so he's missed the last two weeks, but hopefully by next week, he will be back. He's not going to be back. <laughs> we don't you, want him you gotta back remain this. optimistic, LJ. You if must. I was to remain optimistic, never mind. Okay. Okay, so as per usual, the link to the episodes in the description below. But let's get this show on the road. So, this episode, The Legend Thief, third episode of season two. I wouldn't necessarily say it was better than last week's, but it still keeps the trend of good quality episodes. Mm -hmm. I did not find too much wrong with it, but basically the overview is this episode is devoted to the Raven Legend Beast, and it gets a whole episode to itself, whereas the Rhino and the Gorilla had to share an episode, and that's nice, because the Ravens are great. And let's see, there were a couple subplots. There was the main one with them finding out the secret that absolutely no one ever saw coming. That's right, Lavertus is Shadow Wind. Wow, I'm so shocked. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what? I thought it was the Rhino Girl. <laughs> But yeah, he's he's to totally Shadow Wind, and his golden chi that he's been winning from the race, as we find out, the reason is because obviously he's an exiled lion, so he couldn't show his face. So when the bats and the scorpions and the spiders started attacking, he donned this identity of Shadow Wind to go race, win golden chi, and then use it to fortify his place of residence. And that's not good enough anymore because now. The creatures are mind-controlling legend beasts, including the raven, and they're having him come steal this golden chi for their own purposes. So that's not good. And the crew finds out about this, and they're trying to persuade him to help, and he doesn't really want to. And Laval makes a bet with him, well, we'll, we'll race you. And if we win, you have to help us, but if you win... You are going to, you know, we're going to leave you alone. And he's very much like LJ in the sense that he can't resist a bet. <laughs> Actually, au contraire, I can. <laughs> it's not often. And he takes the bet like a chump and promptly gets, uh, I don't want to say cheated, but they totally did cheat, even though I guess they, they didn't cheated. technically because in the rule books, there's nothing against what they did. But... I have a very loose concept of how Chima works. I've never put too much time into understanding the mechanics in the universe. But I think the speed ore runs off of the chi currently in the person. Because there was that one episode where Laval was racing and I think he got supercharged or something. And it supercharged his speed ore as well. And I guess mm -hmm. that's how it works. So they what they did was mid-race substitutions. They'd have people placed along the track and right when one person's chi started to deplete, they'd have somebody else jump in. And, you know, that was well and good. The, the true ingenious part was when they had the bear drop down, and he went to sleep and went into water, and Shadow Wind stopped at the water because he was waiting for, like, a platform. And the bear, the speed ore went underneath the water. The bear kind of floated up at the top asleep. But Cragger was waiting underwater, and he jumped in the speed ore and rode it to victory. And, you know, Laval hopped in at the last second to take the credit, but whatever. So he gets coerced into doing that. And then there's a subplot with everyone's favorite minor antagonist, Cruller. And everyone's favorite character, Plovar. <laughs> and... Cooler, I guess, held captive three spiders and was trying to convince them to join an alliance with her, of course, because she's one-dimensional and is out for power, but we already talked about this last week. They basically break out very easily, and they, I guess, 
walk away and leave her tied up in the place and they take Plovar instead. And yeah. it's because the Spider Queen, her tooth got cracked in the last episode and she wants Plovar to help her fix it. And she basically says, if you don't do this, I'll, I'll eat you. <laughs> and he looked all scared and it was funny to a degree. And that was that. We didn't see them again. So they'll probably expound upon that further. Oh, what else? I think that was pretty much it, aside from the big confrontation. And with this team's unique way of problem solving, <laughs> the key to victory must, of course, lie with golden paint. Because that is truly a weapon to behold. Isn't that right, LJ? No. With, well, what are you talking about? With your golden Miru? There's obviously some significance here. Gold is powerful. Just look at Raka. Gold kills things. Just, just look at so just gold. look at Raka. <laughs> gold is the killer of everything good. It killed Exoforce. It gosh darn nearly killed Ninjago. Bionicle ended with the golden armor. Well, maybe you should look into a mask color change. Amigo. You see, there's the the thing is, green is a lucky color. So my mask is gold, which is why I'm very unlucky a lot of the time. But Everything else is green, so it kind of balances out. That's how I get away from sticky situations. But I really like this episode's kind of way of getting the raven free. It was very clever. Yeah, because they poured gold paint on all the scorpions, and then the raven came and took them away, and I guess just threw them on the ground. <laughs> and that was enough to knock them out of commission, even though they weren't unconscious. So that made very little sense. You'd think they'd just get back up and charge them again. But hey, it works. Got the point across. There were a couple fight scenes with Cragger not using his bow as a bow, but rather hitting people with it. And that, that was questionable. <laughs> but hey, you know, whatever. And I do have one thing to say. Out of this entire episode, the one thing that I did not like, those Scorpion's voices it it was just Cragger's voice actor and and uh, Razor's I'm sorry not Razor, uh, War is his voice actor just doing everything. Yup. The only one I didn't mind was their leaders. He was okay. Yeah. But the others they sounded pathetic. <laughs> yeah, they the voice actors should just stick to doing one voice because otherwise they just do different voices, but it's the same voice just modified very very slightly yep a lot of people in chima i'm noticing as you watch the series you use the same voice actor like laval and yep. Warriors have the same one and i i literally think all the lions except laval have the same voice actor like the announcer is clearly his father and his father is clearly lavertus and that other lion that spoke at the end sounded like them too, just doing a vocal impression. <laughs> so it's like they're, they're very short-staffed, but it gets the job done. And yeah. when they save the raven, they all go home and they celebrate with cupcakes. Yeah. yeah. And then, dun dun dun, the secret weapon revealed. Basically in their hasty getaway, the raven dropped... Not dropped. He left his speed ore, and they're going to find that speed ore and decide we want to build our own. And they go up to Mount Kavora and they begin not stealing the chi but chipping away at the rocks to make the speed ore wheels. So that should be interesting. Although I don't really know what kind of advantage that will give them. Speed ore has never seemed like a good fighting thing to me <laughs> they're more for racing or it's people that are too lame to have their own vehicles like the bears get relocated to speed ores but the rhino got an upgrade this season and now he has his thing but i guess we'll see maybe they'll find some creative use for them but i doubt it it'll probably just be something corny like let's race for victory or something yeah almost as corny as bionicle 2003 Okay, I mean, that does, uh, it. that does it. Come on, LJ. Come on. 
It was pretty corny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, and one one thing I would like to say, I don't believe we mentioned this on the coverage last week, but we thought that that thing at the end of the last episode was a vulture, but it wasn't. It was the Raven Legend Beast. <laughs> so darn, no clever foreshadowing yet. Yeah. Ah well. Maybe it's just me, but it's... I cannot really understand how they're going to transition what we have now to the whole fire and ice theme. It doesn't make any sense to me. But it turns out that all gets cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All Chivas twenty fourteen sets scrapped. <laughs> yeah. But no, it was a good episode. The Ravens were very funny as always, and I guess that's pretty much it. LJ, what did you think? I thought it was good. I don't I don't think it usurped either the prior two, but it definitely did not dip to Season one levels of bad. Yeah. Uh, I noticed the moral of the story, you know, work as a team, Morris said, was was very early on. They just it like, came, okay, the, it you know, came before the middle. <laughs> yeah, children, here's your moral story. Let's get to the fighting. Yeah, pretty much. So that was kind of unusual, but the episode was good. I mean, the camera work has definitely improved since the first episode of yes. season two. Most uh, of overall, I mean, I liked it. I thought the way that they got the Raven Legend Beast out was very clever. Yeah. And yeah, it was just a very clever episode. Lavertus is just a cool, funny character. Yeah. Seems like Vazon. Just a I want him bit. to die now. <laughs> because I I think if they were to have any one character die, it should be him and he'd be have like some emotional Lacan esque speech. And like, like No and we're gonna go like <gasps> And then, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess in closing, I can just say I don't really know what's happened with Chima in season two, why the quality has been upped so much. I don't know if Watch it's the just videos. a case, like we always said, where the concept was fine, it just needed a good direction behind it and not a story that could be wrapped up in one episode. Or they maybe they got some new writers or maybe they did listen to fan feedback. I don't know. I should do some yeah. research into this. But whatever the case, it's a very dramatic increase, and I'm actually enjoying watching Chima nowadays, whereas I dreaded it before. Yeah, ditto. Um, and real we'll... quickly. Oh, okay. What? I, I did want to mention one br- funny, two funny things. One, Crueler sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? There's no other way to put it. Spider- <laughs> yes, the spider's getting out. That was very well done. Crueler's dumb. They need to get rid of her and her constant scheming. Yeah. Um, two, I, I like how they were talking about the Persuader plant when they were talking about how the scorpions, their venom, is mind control-ish. Uh, yeah. And they were talking about the Persuader plant and, like, uh, what, what's his name? Cragger. Cragger's like, what? What's that? And then the Raven's like, oh, um. <laughs> yeah, because Crueler had come to him once before. For help with the- anyway yeah yeah so and then I, I just remembered stupid plovar <laughs> yeah <laughs> just gonna leave it at that yep in fact no kill plovar instead of it may happen he, he may get eaten <laughs> i hope so that'd be awesome that would be very amusing but that was episode 23 of The Legends of Chima, episode 3 of season 2. Overall, you're doing good, Chima, but I've got my eye on you. I'm ready for disappointment at any moment. Chima is perpetually yep. on thin ice after season 1. Not, It's kind of odd. Because I don't really know what they're trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever we will we will talk to you again next week uh, with some more exciting commentary for the legends of chima and ninjago's return in a little over two weeks but for yeah ninjago yep get hype get hype but for now goodbye and see you for the next video